for First Nations people along the northwest coast of BC, Vancouver is their ancestral and unceded land, which many people around the world have now called home. Not enough gratitude could ever be expressed to appreciate their welcoming of new people to this land. Like the grandiose landscape and the abundance of natural resources, it is the nurturing ground for ideas, dialogues, and expressions that would help shape a tomorrow for the future mankind. The Coastal Lunar Lanterns were created to acknowledge our past, celebrate our present, and reimagine our future together. It is about our indigenous roots and our ancestral connections as much as our lives as citizens on this planet. We celebrate our individual traditions and heritage, but we aim to flourish in a new culture that encompasses all of us. From Susan Point's family of artists from the Musqueam in the northwest coast of BC to Pavafal Jung's family of artists from Paiwan in Taiwan, this is the beginning of a unique bond and the formation of a new way to reimagine the family. As the salmon wait for the perfect tide to enter their spawning grounds, they gather tightly around the river. Patiently waiting for high tide, the salmon congregate so closely that the mouth of the river appears black, creating the black waters. On the full moon, they are finally able to head up the river where they are followed around by their predator, the Orca. The Orcas form peace and solidarity as they work together to care and protect one another. Throughout these inland waterways, pods of Orca swim playfully in large groups, vying for the salmon they need to survive. Like the fluidity of the marine life, various winged creatures fly swiftly in the spirits of the sky. Feathery wings flap hastily high in the mountains, triggering crashing thunder and lightning. These birds represent sacred natural forces, all of which are reflected both spiritually and aesthetically in different cultures. The strong and protective Thunderbird, the peaceful Eagle, and the mythical Phoenix each possess unique features and qualities of nature that reflect multiculturalism throughout the world.
Pyrong's mastery of craft is the ultimate symbol for the Pavavaljung family. He inherited the unmatched talent in arts and the artistic gene that has run through the family for generations. Inspired by nature, the freedom to create unleashes many opportunities to narrate the beauty of our lives. For the Paiwan people in Taiwan, they have been known as the children of the sun and the earth. Breathing in harmony and believing in supporting one another, they share the joys and tears of life. They treasure Mother Earth and respect the rule of finding the balance of nature. Family isn't just a place to find comfort. It is the nurturing ground of our cultures. The Morakot Typhoon forced the Pavavaljungs to leave their ancestral lands of hundreds of years, no longer living with familiar neighbors and the forest, and no longer in the mountainous terrain that they like. They have to learn new ways to live. Fearing losing the ties with their heritage, the Paiwans vow to return to that innocence. Mankind learning to coexist brings infinite possibilities. The ever-changing world never alters the fundamental desire that is people's survival. Despite repeated colonizations, the Pavavaljung's core value has never dwindled. A world where people are humble for all beings is the ultimate sight they long for. Family is everything, past, present, and the future. The stories and the arts of the two indigenous families from two ends of the Pacific Ocean, Taiwan, and Canada are our inspiration for a better tomorrow.